And from a betting point of view, it is going to be the central focus for those of you with TVG accounts because you can double your odds. Even Donna Barton Brothers has gotten caught up in the whole double your odds promotion. I'm down near the finish line where the horses are going to finish for today's Dixiana Breeders Futurity. And if TVG viewers place their win bet through TVG or for NJ Bets accounts and your horse wins by two or more lengths, TVG is going to double your odds. It's as simple as that. And for the record, 10 of the last 15 Breeders for Charities have been won by two or more lengths, so history is on your side. Go to TVG.com for details. It is an amazing promotion, and it's obviously gotten a lot of attention because we expanded it. used to be you could only double your odds through the mobile platform. Now I made this idea, <laughs> well, let's just have it for everybody. But let's give you some perspective here on what Donna was talking about, the two lengths in the Dixiana Breeders Futurity. That's two lengths in horse racing right there. Doesn't look like a significant margin from here. And looking at this field, you know, that usually happens in these two-year-old races. Some horse really improves, and they win by a clear mm -hmm. margin. So another great chance to double your odds today. 100%. And, you know, a wide-open field. And usually you'll get a two-year-old that usually will take to the synthetic and keep on going. So a great Great promotion today that you need to take advantage of because <clears throat> what we learned from Ron the Greek winning is, hey, maybe not that bad to put $25 on a 20 to one shot that you like because now you're going to get 40 to one in case he wins by two or more lengths. So uh, just a tremendous promotion, tremendous field as well. Here's what I learned. Uh, leave the decision making to the deciders. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we gave a lot of way, uh, well, a lot of money in that one. OK, as we look at the grade one Dixie and Breeders for Charity, here are the changes. The one intense holiday is scratched. The three school on a hill is out. And then the 15 and 16, the also eligibles metal count and oogly eye have been withdrawn. Even after four scratches, we're left with a field of 12 mm -hmm. in this race. Uh, as you look at this field, what type of favorite are we looking at at post time? A five to two favorite? Uh, I would think so. You know, Tom Amos's horse, Kendall's boy, a, a highly regarded two-year-old, ran to a highly regarded two-year-old in the Todd Pletcher barn in Havana, first time out at Saratoga, and then came and jogged, uh, beat oogly eye, who's now out of the race. Last time out, now gonna go around two turns. There's many chances in there. I like the 10 a little bit, Arctic Slope at a price. I don't think you're gonna get 15 to one, but definitely a chance you need to take a, at least a shot at it in, in double your odds. Because if you like somebody anyway, you might as well take a chance. And if the horse doesn't win by two legs, you're still cashing your win back. Well, and as Donna mentioned, you know, looking historically, going back 15 runnings, we've had 10 winners be two lengths or more, but let's look at it from the Polytrack perspective. When they put Polytrack in, that is held up. In fact, look at the six of the last 10 runnings and the margins. Two lengths or more was covered easily. So another great opportunity to double your odds. Again, the grade one Dixiana Breeders Futurity, race number eight on this 10 race card. Race one is about 54 minutes away. And when we come back to this Fall Stars weekend at Keeneland, we'll talk about the horse to get beat and the horse to bet. We'll be back with more from Lexington, Kentucky, right after this.